I'm here with Mark Edwards from Advantage Geophysics Incorporated. We've got a very interesting uh, contraption behind us, another one a good uh, 500 meters or so away. We're currently in the Wilcox player in Arizona. Can you explain what this contraption is and what it is that you're looking for here? Sure, okay, we're doing a method in geophysics called Hybrid Source Audio Magnetotelurics, HSAMT. It's a measure of resistivity. So resistivity versus depth in the ground. Resistivity is the inverse of conductivity. So it's an electrical property. That data helps us to analyze and, and interpret what the geology is doing at depth. In this case, our target would be uh, a brine. And the theory being that you're in a basin that's been closed. It doesn't have a hydrologic outlet. It doesn't drain anywhere. So over many eons, the water collects, the water collects, and it brings constituents with it salts, including lithium. Lithium metal is a target for battery construction and, and energy and electrification projects these days. So we are able to use this method to find a brine at depth that's conductive. It might contain lithium, we don't know. Our data will indicate whether you have a conductive brine target or maybe clays, that either, either the clay or the water could be carrying lithium. Uh, our, our work is kind of a reconnaissance work um, it uses a receiver station where Paul is, uh, the distance away that you mentioned. We have a transmitter set up here to supplement the signals that we're getting. Two signals we record. One is man-made from this transmitter, higher frequency, shallower depths, maybe to 100 meters or so. And then we have natural signal with the magnetometer coils that we're using over there. Uh, there's a natural pulsation in the uh, Earth's ionosphere from the solar wind, from the sun. That pulsation, induces electrical currents in the ground that we are then able to measure and interpret the resistivity versus depth. And it tells us a lot about the geology. So we move from station to station and we create a line of data. The line then provides a way to have a model in two dimensions, a 2D model of resistivity versus depth and versus distance. When we have several 2D models built, we are then able to invert that into a 3D model and we can look at depth slices of resistivity and maybe verify what the extent aerially is or, or across the area of the target. And that way we provide targeting for perhaps a test uh, drill or a well where you can recover groundwater samples, take them to a geochemical lab and then verify what the constituents in that water might be or in the clay. So. We're a recon method. We come out and look and find where those targets are, and then we provide our recommendation on, you know, if we have any drill targets or not. 